everyone! Welcome back to Animal Crossing. Today I wanted to give you all another tour of my island now that I've got it all set up again. Um, it is a five star ranking with Isabel, so maybe this will give you guys some tips on how to achieve that ranking with her and get that golden watering can. So, we're going to start here at the airport, of course, where everybody would be if they came to visit. This is my entryway. I've got it all decorated up, complete with manhole cover. And this is my grand fountain area. Since my plaza is right here, I had to kind of do something to make it a little more interesting. My plaza is kind of in an awkward spot, but I think that this works out really nicely. I've got little tables set up and all my pumpkins out for the fall. Speaking of pumpkins, I've got pumpkin patches here next to all the bridges. And back here, of course, is Nook's Cranny with bench in front and creepy raccoon statue. And then here, of course, is the Evil Sisters. And then the plaza. And Willow sweeping and plucky looking at bugs. And then down here, is Benjamin sitting on a bench in my little snack area. This is sort of my commercial district, so I've got a lot of shops set up, like here's a fruit stand, and the fortune cookie cart, and then over here I've got a honey stand, one of my faves, a little pet store with a betta fish and a hamster, and here is a nail salon, because that's adorable and a toy store, because that's also adorable. And then we'll go to the beach after I go up here. This is my school, complete with playground area and even a little sandbox on the beach for some odd reason. Don't know why you would ever need a sandbox on a beach, but hey, it's cute. And then here's my bakery. Another favorite of mine, personal little fave, next to this cafe on the beach. This is my kimono shop with weaving loom and pretty kimono stand and all these really nice custom designs that people have made. And up here is Boots at the flower shop, another personal favorite. I like this little area a lot. I think it's really cute. And then here is my swimming pool with beach and little lighthouse lookout with that anchor statue there that I like quite a bit. And then if we come back around here, I'll take you to the grand entrance. I love it when they sit on top of my fertilizer bags. That's pretty fantastic. So back here is my grand beach entrance with bamboo and all the trees and this beautiful little area here. I've got a lot of little lounge areas set up. I've got my turtles hanging out. This little lounge area with all the music. A bunch of horseshoe crabs. A bonfire. Another little hangout spot with coconut juice. Of course, the playground again. And then the cafe again. A nice little area on this rock. It's a nice sunny day on Ember Isle, and that makes me very happy. So now, we're gonna go up here. And I have pumpkins planted everywhere. I think everybody planted pumpkins everywhere for the event. This is my museum area. I made it quite epic and it makes me very happy. I've got a T-Rex, got a little gift shop. I've got a bunch of fossils laying around. I've got a Triceratops and the cutest Blathers hat in the world. And of course a fountain. You can't have a grand entrance to a museum without a fountain. And here's my library, complete with fake statue of David. Eventually, I will get blue roses, 
to replace the white ones that are in this little area surrounding it. The blue roses are the only flower that I do not have yet, and it's extremely frustrating. So now, if you cross this bridge, you're at my house, which is here. I still really like this area. I think it's very cute, and my house is yellow. And I've got a picnic area, and a barbecue, and my little work area, and a well, and all my garbage. And then out here is where Red comes. This is the secret beach. So I made a little pirate bay for him, complete with all this really cool stuff. And a turtle! Whoever came up with the idea to put a custom design on the ground to make turtles, I love that person. They're fantastic. This is my orchard. Well, half of it. And over here is the other half of the orchard. But in between them is this little, like, um, pl another plaza, I guess? But up here is my royal throne room Asian-inspired amazingness with samurai guards and golden throne and a imperial dinner table and beautiful bridges. And I used the little hack to get on the fourth level to decorate up there, which you're not supposed to be able to do, um, but if you Google it, you can figure it out. It's pretty easy. And then back down here, the last little area over here with the trees. These are all my money trees. My fiance plays as well. That's why there's two rows here. The row with the stumps are <laughs> his row because he doesn't play as much as I do. Um, and then back here is my arcade and diner. I guess it would be the Chuck E. Cheese of my island, but uh, way cooler, I think. And down here is Aurora being kind of sad, I'm not sure why, I'm not going to talk to her right now, is this is my like carnival area with a music uh, stage and popcorn and all the sweets and candy and awesome stuff. And then we'll go over here to the residential area away from my house. Also, look, more pumpkins! So many pumpkins. So this, up here, is my campsite, along with where I make duplicates of all my colored flowers. I've got a big garden here. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. I started working on a stone ring, moving all of my uh, stones up here. I only have two left to get where they need to be. And if your island is a five star, you get these little um, Jacob's Ladder flowers. I think they're actually called Lily of the Valley is their actual name. Um, but I've got quite a few of those going now. And then this is my uh, pond, complete with ducks. I have duck pond. Makes me very happy. And then the campsite, also decorated up for fall with leaves and... Uh, weird leaf campfire thing. Uh, I'm gonna change up this area now that the mushrooms are spawning because I need mushrooms! So I've got to clean off the area by the trees. And down here starts the actual residential area. This is Felicity's house. I like her little yard. She's one of the pop star characters so she's got microphones and boom boxes and all that exciting stuff. This is Pashmina's house. Uh, she's one of the sisterly characters, so I just kind of decorated hers up to look like, um, to look nice with her house. So she's got bamboo and tea tables and the like. This is my observatory area. You can come and sit and look at the stars. These are more flowers. I've been working on all of the flowers. Um, these are my purple hyacinths. They're my favorite, so I'm growing a lot of them and more of the Lily of the Valleys. And this is my rose garden. I've got a little like tea area set up here and then these are my special red roses to hopefully get the blue rose. It's a very low chance with that uh, method that I use, but we're keeping our fingers crossed. 
And then down here, this is Puddle's house. Puddle is, is my newest member of my crew. She's a frog, so I gave her a seashell mermaid yard. I thought it was cute. And a turtle, of course. And then this is Benjamin's house. Benjamin is a doggy that likes bugs. And I'm going to shoot down this balloon. Give me like 30 seconds. And I'll miss. And yeah, there we go. Yay. Um, this is Benjamin's house. He's a doggy that likes bugs. So I decorated it up with dirt and bugs and all kinds of other fun things, including dirty laundry, because that's kind of Benjamin. Um, he even has a little area on the beach. I kind of love Benjamin. He's one of my favorites. Back here, sort of hidden away, is my little mermaid grotto. That I haven't changed much from the last tour I did. This is going to be a beautiful, like, moon landing, all of the celestial stuff I think I'm going to put there. I don't have as much as I probably should have, considering I've been playing for a really long time now, but I'm still working on it, I guess. I don't play a lot at night, so I don't get to see Celeste very much. Um, this is my movie theater. I really, really like this. I think it turned out really cute. Um, I wish that I had, like, a good carpet, but the lack of design slots for custom designs is really hindering some of the stuff I can do all at the same time. So maybe next time. Um, this is Boots' little beach area, and this is the entrance to the road here. This is Boots' house. He's a muscle, muscle guy, so he's got barbells and uh, weights in his yard. This is Plucky's house. She's my little country chicken, so I put all of her little country stuff here, and I think she's so look and so cute. I think it turned out really cute. This is my doctor's office. I moved it over here. It's still kind of close to the commercial district, but it is over the bridge here. I've got a nurse's outfit and a doctor's outfit hanging out, and a bed for anybody who needs to rest and see the doctor. This is my rainbow garden. I've finally gotten all of the colors except for those stupid blue roses. So 700 years later I might have those. This is Aurora's house, the little penguin that was thinking on the beach. Um, she likes books and art and other fun stuff. So she's got kind of a simple yard but very cute. And this is Twiggy's house. She's another one of the pop star characters, so of course I've got um, Bubblegum KK playing on the radio and all of the pink and happiness. And this is her little area on the beach with magazines and a fan. Then this is Willow's little beach area. She's got a lounge and fancy stuff because she's a little more uh, sophisticated. She's one of the snooty characters and this is her house. Um, she does like to sew. She is a sheep, so I think that that is why she, she likes the crafty sewing things. I don't know if all of the sheep like that, but, um, she does, and that makes me happy. This is a little cafe area alongside the beach. And then we'll go to that side of the beach here in just a second, because this is Vivian's house. She's another one of the snooty characters. Uh, she's a wolf. And she's got a grand piano in her yard with plants and pretty lamps and a beautiful bonsai tree. And then on this beach here, this is my little uh, cantina, I guess, with oranges and pretty flowers and hula girl and coconut trees. And then Nick's house, my fiance, is here. I turned his house in sor into sort of a, a beachside diner since he doesn't play much. Uh, his house is just kind of extra storage for me for the most part. Um, so that's kind of what I turned it into. Which he likes fishing, so it worked out really well. But I think that thanks to CJ with all this stuff, it turned out very, very good for a little beachside area. 
And then I've got my diving suit here and the extra fishing rods on the dock. Very appropriate. I don't think that house is moving when I change up everything here shortly. Hey, there's Willow in a little beret. She's so cute. And then back over here, we've got a little picnic area with lots of flowers. I really like the lilies. My island is called Ember Isle, so I've got lots of red, orange, yellow, especially at the entrance. Um, this is my beachside gym made mainly for Boots and Sterling. Sterling just moved out, but uh, Boots is still around, so it's mainly for him. And we're back at the airport! And that's it! That was my whole island! I'm getting ready to change it up again, but I really, really like the way it is now, and I guess Isabel likes it too, um, because it is a five-star. So, um, hopefully that gives you an idea of what Isabel kind of likes with her tidy lots of spaces and yada 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 yada. She's so particular. But I like it quite a bit and I hope that you guys did too. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye!